Hi, this is Kama Troy of Linden Camp. We have a new landowner, Lot 43, Dave. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dave's friends. Hi, everyone else. So Dave saw some of the other videos that I had done for some of the other lot owners, and, and he invited me over to, to check out his lot, Lot 43, and bring my drone and, and take some footage for him. Of course, I had to say yes. I love flying my drone. So I ran on over there and, and took some drone footage for, for Dave. Now this lot, 43, has some special meaning to me. I attended the Tennessee Land and Lake Sale on the 31st, and this is the lot that I actually um, decided to, you know, that I agreed to purchase and sign under contract. And then the next day, I went out on November 1st, I walked the property took a lot of videos, took some pictures of it. I went down to the hollers. And then, you know, a few days later, I decided to, uh, to beg Tennessee Land and Lakes to allow me to switch to a, a different lot that I liked uh, a little bit better, a little bit bigger, uh, Lot 24, where Linden Camp is. So I went from, um, I think it was, I think Lot 43 is 18 acres to 35 acres, so double the size. So there's going to be some extra footage in this video t today I'm going to include. I've divided it up into, into several sections because it, it has more than just drone footage in it that uh, Dave had requested. So first, I'm going to show a clip of actually um, going on this property on October 31st of 2021 last year. And then I'm going to show a clip of what it looked like on November 1st, some hollers, some waterfalls, a creek. And then the third part, we're gonna show the drone footage of what it looks like now in July, eight months later. And you'll see uh, quite a bit of change between uh, October 31st, November 1st, and now middle of July. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. So here's the wild ride I had actually agreeing to purchase this lot. Check this out. So I'm driving around with my agent and or my salesperson, we're gonna call him. And all of a sudden I I'm hearing on the radio, Lot 12 sold. I'm like, okay, well, I guess all right, so someone bought 12 and I'm also, we're also driving by all the other lots that have already sold because their signs have been flipped around since sold. So I was like, oh my God, they, they've already sold like a dozen lots in just two hours. And there's only 43 lots total in this first phase. So what is going on here? And then lot six is sold. I'm like, lot three is sold. Lot one is sold. Lot 15 is sold. Lot 18 is sold. And I'm like, oh my God, what's going on here? I'm like, I better give me one of these because obviously they're a hot commodity. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that made it worse. It is my <laughs> Gross. <laughs> At least now you can tell me if it hit something. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to go in your... Oh, this is much better. Look how good we can see. <laughs> Incredible. Can you believe that? I remember that day like it was yesterday. That it, clip actually comes from another video that I released several months ago. It was on the purchase of Linden Camp. I disclosed exactly um, you know, what I paid per acre for my property. That video is linked down below in the description, and it's also above here that you can click on to watch that video and I, I highly recommend that you watch that entire um, purchase video. There's a lot of detail on there about the whole experience and you know the emotional state I was in and kind of some of my you know my deep uh, thoughts of, of what I felt during that property. So highly recommend it. You know go go check out that purchase video and I, I think you'll enjoy it. So I drive out there to lot 43. I'm, I'm now on site and I, I get out of my truck and I decide that I'm going to you know, walk the property. I want to 
I heard some rumors about you know some potentially uh, water waterfalls on some of the lots. We weren't really told you know what lots had it, which lots didn't. So I went walking all around lot 43, looking for to see if I had waterfalls or a creek. Um, some of the lots had what they call dry creeks, meaning that there's no water in them most of the year. You know you get a heavy rainfall, you know you'll have water in them. So. I really wanted to see what I could find out. So let's take a look and see those pictures and videos. Even got a little waterfall. little creek that goes down through here. I'm at the property line. Wow, isn't that area really neat down there with that, uh, you know, creek? There's actually water down there. Penelope went and got herself a drink, and it was just all in all a good time. There was some, you know, some nice flat areas where, you know, you if somebody wanted to do some rustic camping, they could set up a tent down there. And uh, I just, I really, really enjoyed that area in the back of the property. I, mean, I was glad I, I walked down there. And what an incredible sunset, too. You know, that was... The sunset was on November 1st and November 1st of 2021. So you can kind of see, you know, what direction the sun comes in, you know, to that lot and just in incredible. So that was November 1st, 2021. Now we're going to fast forward to mid July. I drove out to the property and got on site, got my drone out, and then all of a sudden these other people showed up and here it was uh, Dave's uh, excavation contractor. And it was kind of funny, I mean, he walked in, rolled his window down, he's like, who are you? And I'm thinking to myself, well, who are you? I didn't say anything, I just said, well, I'm Comet Troy. So we just, he's like, I know you. So we just kind of yucked it up a little bit so the reason why I, I mention this is you're going to see some people walking around the, in the drone footage. So that's the actual excavation contractor. They had come back out um, when I was there to actually measure off and mark where the RV pad is going to go. I understand it's going to be a 40 foot by 40 foot RV pad. So the contractor went and, and painted some, uh, I don't remember if they're orange or red, um, corners of, of each of the corner does that look like a corner <laughs> a corner of each of the RV pads lot I'm not sure if it shows up in the drone footage or not it might it might not but that's where the uh, the RV pad is going to go so without further ado let's uh, let's roll that drone footage <music>
what a change from October 31st, November 1st to the middle of July 2022. I can't believe it's the same property. You know, when I went on there, I, I couldn't believe it. I just tried to, it just blew my mind. So here we are on lot 43 and the way they're doing their power here is they're going from the utility power pole with primary wire and overhead and they're going to put a, another power pole here. And then there's going to be a transformer at the top of this, this power pole and then the primary wire will run down this pole that's on the property and go underground and then it will run over there to where the utilities are. I really like the uh, utility backboard they build here with a, a little roof part that hangs out to protect it from the weather somewhat. I think that's pretty cool. I think I'd like to build something like this. This panel is actually um, secured with cement footings. So, looks like a, a pretty first class job here. I like it a lot. Well, Dave, Dave, friends, and everyone else, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe, like, comment, ring the bell, and I will see you in the next video.